Welcome to Code with Kurt. In this video, we are going to clear a row, delete a row, insert a row, and replace a row. And how we're going to do this is we're going to search the record we want to do this for, and we're going to do a very specific row in the middle of a table. So we're going to do this with Google Apps Script on a Google Sheet. So let's get started. All right, first of all, I got my sheet file name called edit row and my sheet name is edit and this is my table I got four rows the row we're going to specifically work off of is train I'm going to look through each one of these records and as soon as I find train I'm going to clear it I'm going to delete it I'm going to insert a record after it and I'm going to replace this row with different data so I'm going to go to tools I'm going to go to script editor I'm going to name my project and the first thing I'm going to do is do the clear row function. I'm going to declare my sheet so I got my edit sheet declared next I'm going to get the last row of the sheet so I know how many rows there are. So I got that. Next I'm going to go for a for loop and go through each one of the records until I find the train row. I'm going to start with row 2 because that is the first row underneath my header row. I got my for loop declared next I'm going to do an if statement to find my train record so I'm using the I as my row I'm incrementing that with the for loop and I'm using one as my column one so I'm going through this column to try to find the train record and if I find it I'm gonna go ahead and clear it So there I have my clear statement and I can concatenate this range together. So I'm doing A as like my first column, combining with the row, and then going all the way over to C, combined with the row to clear it. This makes up our clear function. So let's go ahead and run this one. I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to go ahead and run it. I'm going to have to go through authorization required. Select my account, hit advanced, hit edit row for safe, and edit clear, delete our sheet. We're going to allow it. So there's running. We'll check over here, and it cleared that whole row out. So we're going to go ahead and reverse that change. We're going to bring that row back. So I hit the back button on the sheet. We're going to go over, and next we're going to create our delete row. And Basically, I'm going to take this function I got, the clear row, I'm going to copy it. And we'll call this delete row. So we're basically going to do the same thing, go through each row, try to find our train record, and instead of this statement down here, we're going to hit delete row. And then we're going to give it the row number. And that is it for that statement. So let's go ahead and hit save on that. And then we'll go ahead and run that statement. And we'll go over here and now you can see it just removed the entire row. So we no longer have the space for it. It's completely gone. So we're going to go ahead and reverse that change back. Go back to our original table here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the insert after that row. So we're going to copy the delete row here. Function. Copy it down. We're going to do insert row. And what we're going to do for that, instead of the delete command, we're going to do the insert row after. 
function. So we're going to be inserting a row after the train row with this function call. So we go ahead and save that. Now we're going to run that one, insert row. We'll go ahead, it's running. We'll go back to our sheet. And there, it added a row right after our train underneath here. So we'll go ahead and back those changes out. And now we're going to just going to do a replace the data statement. So we're going to copy this. Actually, we're going to go ahead and copy the clear row statement. So let's go ahead and copy that. We're going to come down here. We're going to hit replace row. And for our statement down here, we're going to keep the range. We're going to do the edit sheet, keep this range. Instead of clearing it, we are going to set values. And basically, this is just going to overlay the data that's what's existing there. So we're going to do airplane. orange and 30. Oops. There, with that statement. So we're setting value in this object we created, airplane, orange, and 30, setting it in this range. So let's hit save and run our replace function. So there it is. We're doing airplane orange and 30 and that just replaced our train record and we could back it up to show that's that it was train yo and 20. so that concludes this video if you have any questions or comments please leave it below the video until next time